welcome. This is Lifestyle with Chase Versatile, as you know. All right, so I come with juicy tail. Like, mm, let me see. I have thought about this through and through if I should really do this. But you know what? I couldn't hold it anymore. Um, I know I'm not a gossip, actually. But, you know, I really want to gossip this one. Ever since Big Brother started, some almost two weeks ago, I have intentionally not talked about it, considering the fact that I actually did participate in the auditions, right? Though I didn't get, uh, you know, picked to come into the house. But honestly, everyone, I'm sure everyone can attest that this edition of BB, that's BBM5, has actually been very entertaining. Man, there has been drama after drama. But what brings me here today, let me tell you, is more to the fact that this year's BB has not just one, but three single parents in the house, and they are Katrina, Praise, and Watoni. Now, we have come a long time now to talk about these sets of people, but I intentionally just thought to observe, probably drama might not ensue. We all know that Praise has a son, um, Katrina has a daughter, while Watoni has a child of about five years. That's really inconsequential. But what really piqued my interest was during Katrina's um, diary session with Biggie last week, and she told Biggie that she's got her eyes on a particular housemate. And this housemate was praised as she told Biggie. And she was really hoping that something could hit off, you know, with them. Okay. Reason when she told Biggie, she says the reason is because since Praise is also a single dad, she believes that it will get, you know, the, he's more like level-headed and he also has an understanding of what being a single parent is like and all that. All the best, girl. So I said, not until the early hours of today, being Saturday, Praise and Katrina kicked it off like who saw that coming okay how did it even start praise had actually organized he got told all the housemates that there is going to be war and fight room or whatever and in that room they were going to do all sorts of truth and their devil's basket whatever what a majority of viewers really looked out for it although it was quite entertaining after a while but eventually got boring mostly as most of the paired up housemates refused to be a part of this whole game Praise was actually upset, but I actually did watch when Praise and Katrina got paired to do a dare. And Katrina was there to kiss or lick on Praise's ear for a couple of seconds. Guess what? Katrina was up for it. But Praise, he held onto his ear and was like, no, 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 please, I beg you. I would rather drink. But that is a no-go area. For me, I think, probably, that is Praise's hot soap. Probably that might tick him off, but who knows? We didn't see it coming still, and then he had to take the drink. I can be certain they had too many to drink, mostly as Big Brother had opened up the refrigerator for them to have drinks. And you had some people having up to five bottles of drinks before they moved into the room to go have that session that they did have. These people really got in nasty. They didn't actually end the games anyways. They had to pack up the remaining drinks with hope to continue Saturday midnight. And then, lo and behold, Katrina and Praise kicked it off having real, I mean, you could see them pumping it. I'm just going to drop a few seconds of clips on this for you to see. That was Praise and Katrina. Now, don't forget that Biggie had actually dropped condoms for them. And Lucy and Katrina had actually counted these condoms. But the question now is, did Katrina and Praise use a condom? We're hoping they were safe enough to use it, I and they're hoping that they were wise enough to make use of it, because I'm not sure they're willing to have a BB baby anytime soon. But this is actually my own point of view. The fact that they're single parents, I believe they know what they're doing, and I am believing that it was consensual. Well, of course it has to be consensual. Consensual in the sense that when they wake up this morning, I hope they won't start carrying faces for each other, except it is just the game. Well, which one concerns me? Our eyes are mostly on Praise, Watoni, and Katrina. We hope that they will pick it up. Well, while Watoni is really wallowing in despair that Kid Wire, whom she's got her eyes on, isn't looking her way anymore. We are also hoping that she gets it kicked up. And hey, if you didn't know, Tochi actually has his eyes on Watoni. Will she give him any heat? Although she's been gradually avoiding him or not even noticing his moves towards her. Whatever the case might be, this 
It's just a juicy tale. I couldn't resist. I mean, against all odds, everyone has said, no, don't do this. But this is our concern, single parents. So our eyes is on the single parents of the BB5 house. Any news that comes through them, that will be our focus on this channel. So just take this as the gossip segment of this channel. All right, so this is me signing off. This is Lifestyle Genius Vista. And you know what? It is namaste, love, and light to you. See you on other gossip videos. <laughs> Ciao.